Tonight we are learning devastating new details into the tragic beating death of a child in Inkster. Yeah, today that boy's father and his girlfriend were formally charged with Little Time Smith's murder. Rod Maloney was in the court for today's uh, arraignment. Rod, prosecutors are very clear this was no accident. Oh, and you know, Devin, we hear so much about child abuse that in many ways we become numb to it all. But this is one of those cases when you hear the details, it just it really drives the point home about the pain and anguish that goes with child abuse. And now the parent, one of the parents, is under arrest and his girlfriend also being charged with murder. Three-year-old Time Smith died on October 13th, brought to Garden City Hospital last Thursday, where he died. The autopsy says he was so brutally beaten in the midriff, his liver was split in two, and he bled into his stomach. A very painful death, particularly considering he wasn't brought to the hospital for several hours after the alleged beating. Today, Inkster police arraigned Time Smith's 41-year-old father, Aurelio Smith, who entered the courtroom in tears. He claims to be a barber and is charged with murder, torture, child abuse, doing great bodily harm. He pled not guilty. He's facing life in prison without parole if he's found guilty. Time's great aunt, Pastor Sandra Carter, attended the hearing and was furious. When he broke out in tears, I didn't feel sorry for him. Also charged in the case is Smith's 21-year-old girlfriend, Andrea Bracy. She is not Time's mother. She, too, is charged with murder, child abuse, causing great bodily harm and torture. Local 4 News has learned the couple is each blaming the other for Time's death. Aurelio Smith has a criminal record, and so therefore they're also charging him with a, a habitual offender status in this, which could add to any jail time if, in fact, he is convicted in this case. In the meantime, the judge gave them a million dollars each cash bond, which means it's very unlikely that they're going to be out of jail anytime soon. They're going back to court on the 19th. Back to you. Rod, what else do we know about what actually happened uh, to the little boy? You know, Devin, this is the real tragedy of it all. Is it turns out that there apparently were signs that this boy had been beaten previously. And in fact, the autopsy showed that he had other kinds of bruises and breaks that were on his body that predate the actual assault on him mm. that killed him. And so that was one of the things that came out in court today, and they'll be talking more about that as they move forward. All right, Rod.